Hello, welcome to this week's webinar on Complete Orthopaedic, or to our friends in the US and Australia, Complete Ortho. This month we released an update to our app Complete Orthopaedic, which means for the first time it's available outside of the US and Australia. Complete Orthopaedic is a platform that allows you to take control of your healthcare and better understand conditions and treatment associated with the musculoskeletal system. Today I'll show you how a complete orthopaedic works and how you can use it to enhance your understanding of complicated conditions and procedures. Let me know what you think or if you have any questions by leaving a comment on our Facebook live stream, our website page or our YouTube channel. First I'll show you what complete orthopaedic looks like. When you open the app you'll see you can choose between seven different body regions. The shoulder, elbow, hand and wrist, spine, hip, the knee and the ankle and foot. By selecting on any of these structures, for example I'll select on the knee, you are presented with a fully interactive 3D model of that region. On the right hand side you'll see different tabs that I'll explain throughout the webinar but to start let's focus on the anatomy section. Here you can scroll through different screens that show important structures that are implicated in pathologies. You can explore the important parts of the knee and select different structures. By selecting a structure the info box appears on the left hand side of the screen which gives you the name and information on that structure. You can also hide or fade structures or you can fade surrounding structures so you can see this ligament in more detail. Before you can begin to understand a complicated injury or condition, it is beneficial to first visualize these structures and to realize their importance. This is where the anatomy section is really valuable. On the top right hand corner of the screen, you can see you can switch from the anatomy section to conditions. This section includes educational animations of the different pathologies within the knee. Each animation comes with a descriptive audio that explains the development of that condition. The next section, Treatments, also includes animations on the different procedures that are associated with the knee as well. Each of these animations have been specifically chosen and designed by our team of orthopaedic consultants. Complete Orthopaedic contains over 250 animations that range from muscle sprains to tendon ruptures, osteoarthritis to severe fractures. I'm sure you'll find these animations really useful and I hope you enjoy exploring the app. Let us know what you think on our social media pages on Facebook, Twitter or Instagram. Next, I'd like to show you how you can use this app in a real life situation. Let's imagine you twist your knee while playing football. And this can happen if you wear boots with studs. These boots can keep your feet on the ground while you try to twist and move suddenly in a different direction. This can cause a ligament in your knee to tear. This is very painful and can make your knee feel unstable. You'll need an MRI scan to confirm that something has been torn, but when you do get a scan, you like to understand the doctor when they mention something like anterior cruciate ligament. You are likely to have a lot of questions, such as, what is that structure? Where is it? How did this tear occur? And how can this be treated? Complete Orthopaedic can help answer these questions for you. Start with the anatomy section, where you can scroll through the screens and find the structure you were looking for. For example, here is a screen on the anterior cruciate ligament. You can select on the structure to find more about it. For example, did you know that the anterior cruciate ligament is also known as the ACL? This app also uses smart technology, so it actually knows exactly what structure you have viewed. So when you change to the condition section, the ACL tear animation is at the very top. Now let's play this animation and listen to the audio. Tears of the anterior cruciate ligament are most commonly caused by having the upper leg displaced backwards or sideways by impact, while the lower leg is in a stable position or by pivoting and jumping. 
Now I've just paused this animation and I'd like to bring your attention to the name of the structure on the very top left hand side of the screen, the anterior cruciate ligament. All of the animations have a list of all the relevant structures and you can select on these names to minimize the animation and bring you back to the anatomy section where you can view the structure in more detail. You can return to the animation by pressing on the window on the bottom left hand corner of the screen. You can also save this animation into your saved files by pressing on the green plus button on the bottom right hand corner of the screen. If you love this animation and want to share it with your friends and family, you can do so by pressing share video and you can share it to any of your social media pages. Now let's return to the animation so we can watch the rest of it. This animation illustrates a complete tear of the ligament. As a crucial stabilizing ligament, a torn anterior cruciate ligament can cause severe knee instability and may also require reconstructive surgery. At the end of the animation, treatment options associated with the condition you've just watched appear. If the tear is problematic, whereby it's preventing you from walking, running or enjoying sports, your healthcare provider may suggest surgical operations to fix the ligament. However, when undergoing operations, they are associated with certain risks and you need to be fully aware of what you're undergoing before you decide to go under the knife. It's also good to note that many doctors will advise on conservative non-surgical options such as rest or medication before advising on surgical treatment. Let's see what surgical options are available for an ACL tear. I'll select the first animation which is the hamstring graft, although I'll mute this recording. Again, you can see in the top left hand corner of the screen the list of all the relevant structures. You can select on any of these names, for example the hamstring tendons, so you can see on the 3D model what these tendons are and you can lear learn more about them. Again, to return to the animation, just press on the window on the bottom left hand corner of the screen. You can also save this recording by pressing on to save my files. And you can also share this video to any social media account as well. I'm going to exit this video and I'll show you the next section, which is my saved files. Okay, here's where you can see the list of all of the animations that you have saved. You can watch these later, for example, if you want to watch them and show them to your doctor. The next thing I'd like to show you is the search bar. The search bar is located on the top left hand corner of the screen. Here you can search any anatomical structure, condition and treatment. For example, I can search the meniscus. And here I can already see structures populating under the anatomy section, as well as animations for conditions and treatments. You can explore any other body region by selecting on the human body icon on the top left hand corner of the screen. Because of the wealth of information available on the internet, it is important for you to feel that you're getting correct and reliable information. Complete Orthopaedic was designed to help patients educate themselves on conditions and treatments, and to facilitate better communication with your healthcare provider. We always encourage you to talk to your doctor before making a decision on your health. There is also a professional version of this app available in the US and Australia for your doctor to use. Complete Orthopaedic is available on today on iPad and iPhone and you can always check the App Store to make sure that you're downloading on a compatible device. Now let's see if we have any questions and I'll try to answer as much as I can. I have a question from David who asks, will this app also be available on Windows and Androids? We have no immediate plans of yet, as we just released it on iPhone and iPad, but we may do this sometime in the future. And you can make sure to uh, keep up to date with our social media pages for when we do plan to release these. I have another question from Lila, who asks, are these animations heavy and can I remove and add them as I will? That's a really good question. So 
you can actually choose what animations you want to download and you can remove them at any stage as downloading the animations will take up the storage memory on your device. So you can do this by pressing on the play button on the bottom left hand corner of this screen. So here you have a list of all of the different regions in the app and you can choose to download the animations in there or delete them all. So for example here I can open the shoulder by pressing on the arrow to the far right. This expands to all of the animations that's in the shoulder and you can see here on the right hand side I can choose to delete these and remove them from my download and this will save some storage memory. Thanks very much for your question. So I have a question from Michael who asks well, he says, I can find lots of examples of degradation, but are there also examples of hurts and accidents? For example, operation on bones and damaged ligaments in the foot. Yes, there are plenty of animations that show any kind of ligament tears, uh, fractures as well, as well as operations to treat those certain conditions as well. Thanks very much for your question. Maria left a comment right before our live stream happened and she was looking forward to this webinar as she experiences joint pain. So hi Maria, thanks very much for your question and you can definitely use this app to educate yourself on, the, on certain conditions. However, it is to be noted that this application is not used to diagnose but just to educate yourself on the condition. Thanks very much for your question. I have another question from Ashling who asks, are there more in-app purchases or is it a single payment upon download? And this is actually a very good question as with the new update that we released this month, it's just a single download and a single payment. So there are no hidden in-app purchases inside the app. I also have a question from Ali. She asks, are you going to be developing any more apps like this that focus on other areas other than orthopedics? And yes, we have it in our plan to release more similar apps like this. For example, we will be releasing one similar to Heart Anatomy. So you can definitely stay tuned to our Facebook page or social media pages to find out more about when these will be released. Okay, so I think that is all the questions that we have so far. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and like and follow our Facebook and Twitter pages. And thanks very much for watching.